Hi there, my name is Joe Underhill and I work at Augsburg University. I'm the director of the River Semester Program that's been taking students out on the Mississippi uh, starting way back in 2000, but starting in 2015 with these longer trips down the Mississippi River as part of a full semester program. Take a, a diverse group of students, somewhere 12 to 16 uh, each time, a couple field staff, um, a uh, couple faculty, and then we get lots of uh, guest speakers and uh, lecturers, including many representatives of some of the river-related uh, professional fields along the way. Students can take their choose from six different courses, mostly environmental studies, political science, uh, some natural science, but we're more on the social science and humanities side of things. Um, so we. Uh, spend as, uh, about 100 days going downstream so it's a really long we really get to immerse yourself and get to to know the mississippi river and it's many many different faces and um phases uh and stretches of it uh we we do go source to sea but we don't paddle the whole way we, but we do about a thousand miles depending on the year and the weather uh whether the river's flooding we've had very very uh, some challenging years in terms of weather conditions. Uh, so we work primarily with uh, wilderness inquiry. We have over the last say 10 years, they're uh, outfitter based in the Twin Cities, but we also have connected with Big Muddy Adventures in St. Louis and then down south with Quapaw Canoe Company that's uh, started and run by this guy, John Rusky, who's one of the most uh, knowledgeable people about the river that we know, so certainly a kind of river professional of, of a sort there. Uh, we are, however, going to be moving to self-outfitting this coming fall. We're, we'll be building some new boats uh, with a sail rig uh, that's uh, just an improvement over the boats we've used in the past. And um, so in terms of our interactions along the way, we, uh, those take various forms, but they can in include obviously educational, also data gatherings that are helping out with some of those field surveys, some service projects, small, but I think it's part of it. But probably the main thing I think in terms of our interaction with some of the organizations and professionals we meet is, is that this is a chance to connect a diverse group of students, uh, many of whom don't have uh, a lot of experience out in, in the field this way. Um, one of the big, uh, probably most obvious groups we, we interact with is the Army Corps of Engineers, which is just the, the, by far the largest presence on the river, both in terms of all of the locks and dams and other engineering projects, including like the old river control um, down in uh, Louisiana, um, Mississippi area, so. And we interact with these professionals as well. A lot of barge captains, big uh, freighters down below, below Baton Rouge. We get into ocean going traffic. So that's something to, we talk with them and interact and make sure that we're, we're uh, staying clear of them. Um, and, but then probably most significantly, it's working with Fish and Wildlife, um, USGS, um, the DNR, um, in, you know, learning from them, having good conversations. And uh, we also work with indigenous um, communities and learn about traditional ecological knowledge. Uh, this is at Prairie Island, um, the um, Midewakantan uh, Prairie, uh, Dakota community there who've done both buffalo, raising um, a buffalo herd there and some floating marsh projects and things that we have uh, connected with them around. Um, we do some small service projects. There were some tree planting, a few other things we've done along the way that uh, is help, kind of a nice hopeful thing for students, um, gives them a, a sense of, of uh, purpose. And um, some fish surveys, some mud, you know, sediment sampling, um, things like that along the way. But as I said, uh, main thing for us has been the way in which this um, experience really connects students to the river, makes them passionate about it, makes them care about it, uh, makes them want to continue to be part of it. Um, nice quote here from one of the students um, really about how this has had uh, a, a pretty uh, significant impact on them. So anyhow, thanks for listening. Look forward to some more discussion um, after we're, we're finished here.